We welcome you to join the bouquet of programs offered by the School of Humanities, the Indira Gandhi National Open University, New Delhi. The Indira Gandhi National Open University, New Delhi, is a mega university today. It was created by an act of parliament in 1985. It is the world's largest university with an enrollment of about 3.5 million current students and 3.2 million alumni. IGNU has also been accorded the highest grade of academic ex excellence, A++, by the National Assessment and Accreditation Council, or the NAC. Now, during your time at IGNU as a learner, we will help you complete your program of study with world-class printed materials, audio and video programs. We have more than 35,000 academic counsellors who will guide you till you complete your program of study. We also provide live interaction with your teachers at the headquarters via teleconferencing mode and live interactive radio counselling besides this, supported by regular TV and radio broadcasts. The School of Humanities was created in 1988 and we welcome you warmly to join any of our programs of study. IGNO degrees, diplomas and certificates are recognized not only in the country but are also very well received across the globe. We look forward to your journey with us and we welcome you once again. The master's degree program in English that is offered by the School of Humanities has a very unique modular structure. Now, what do we mean by modular structure? We have different modules built into the MA program, and that allows you to do certain interesting things, which I will get to in a little bit. And we also give you the opportunity to focus on particular areas of study during your postgrad studies. We provide learners with a very, very sound understanding of American, Australian, British, Canadian, and Indian English literatures, and also of the English language. However, we would require that you have a good knowledge of reading, comprehension and writing skills because that would help you with your program of study. Now, in order to complete the MA program in English, you will need to opt for courses from any two modules along with one compulsory course each in both the first year of study and the second year of study. Now, let me tell you a little bit about lateral entry and exit. For instance, somebody takes admission into the MA English program, but due to various reasons, you could be busy at work, you could have a young baby at home, you are not able to pursue it, but you have somehow managed to complete the first year of study. You have done all your assignments, you have passed in all of them, you have completed your term and exams, so basically you have completed your MA first year of study. But because of certain reasons, you need to put your education on hold. So what you can do is you can exit the MA program with a PG diploma in whichever module you have chosen for study. Similarly, if somebody were to take admission in our PG diploma programs, I will be telling you about them later. And you, you've completed it in a year. And you know that, you know, you would want to do an MA in English. You are capable of it. You have managed your time and you can do it then you can take admission in the second year of the MA English program directly. So that is what I was trying to explain when I was talking about lateral entry and ease of exit. The eligibility of the master's degree program in English is a bachelor's degree or a higher degree from a recognized university. The medium of instruction of course is English. The minimum duration is two years and the maximum duration is four years and it is offered twice a year in the January and July cycle of admission. The fees per year is 7,000 and you pay 300 rupees as registration fee at the time of admission. Now the scheme of courses, you need to understand this. In the first year, you have the MEG5, which is the Literary Criticism and Theory, which is compulsory. And then you choose one module of 24 credits. Now each course in the MA English program is of 8 credits. So if we say 24 credits, that means you have to opt for 3 courses. Similarly, in the second year, the compulsory course component is a choice between MEG4, 
which is the aspects of language, and MHE 15, which is comparative literature. So you choose between one of these two and then you choose another module of 24 credits. The compulsory courses, like I mentioned, MEG 5, Literary Criticism and Theory. In the second year, you choose one between MEG 4, which is the aspects of language, or MEG 15, which is comparative literature, theory and practice. So then the modules that we offer to you, which give you an area to specialize in, specialized focus on. You have British literature, which deals with British poetry, British drama and the British novel. Then you have a module called Writings from India. In this, we look at Indian English literature, we look at English studies in India, we look at contemporary Indian literatures in English translation. So here we just have three courses each, so you take the entire module for these modules. Then you have new literatures in English, which is another module. Here there are four courses, so you can choose any three of these. We have new literatures in English, we have a course on Australian literature, a course on a survey course on 20th century Canadian literature and the Australian novel. Now writings from the margins again has uh, this module has three courses, so you do all three. It's writings from the margins, contemporary Indian literature in English translation, and Indian folk literature. In the American literature module, we have four courses again. You choose any three. We have American literature, the American novel, American drama, and American poetry. And the sixth module that we have is on the novel. Now, this is genre-based. So we have the British novel, the American novel, and the Australian novel. So basically, in the first year, what you do is you do MEG 5, which is your literary criticism and theory, and then you choose any one module. In the second year, you choose between MEG 4 and MEG 15, and then you choose another module. So what it does is it gives you the opportunity to focus your study in a particular area. For further details, you can log on to www.igno.ac.in. From there, you navigate your way to the School of Humanities, look under programs, and you will find the program details there. Or you can write to the program coordinator, whose details are on your screen. <music>